Hello, my name is Noah Ali, and today I'm going to be talking to you about G-forces and what effects they can have on the human body. Astronauts are trained to be able to survive G-forces that may injure or kill a normal human being, but space travel is not the only time that humans can experience G-forces. As you can see on the slide, zero Gs is the experience of weightlessness, and one G-force is the normal force of gravity that we all experience every day. So that means two Gs is twice the normal force of gravity. The table on this slide describes the effects that certain G-forces can cause to humans. If a force of four to six Gs is sustained for more than a few seconds, the resulting symptoms range from blackouts to total death. Some fighter pilots can experience up to nine Gs of force when making certain maneuvers, and this amount of force causes blackouts and even death as gravity drives blood and oxygen from the brain, lungs, and heart. According to the NHTSA, the standard for a sudden impact of acceleration on a human to cause severe injury or death is 75 Gs for a 50, 50th percentile male, 65 Gs for a 50th percentile female, and 50 Gs for a 50th percentile child. One place many of us see G-forces every day are in amusement parks. Here, I have a list of the most G-forces experienced on roller coasters. As you can see, there is one outlier being the flip-flap railway ride, which is also pictured on the left of the slide. This ride only ran for seven years before being shut down over safety concerns, and the reason being the G-forces experienced on it were so high. The reason for these high G-forces is because the loop-de-loop -loop was a perfect circle. To make it through the entire loop without falling or stopping, passengers had to go extremely fast, and the circle being only 25 feet in diameter combined to cause the extremely high G-force. I'm sure it's understandable why it was closed down, and newer roller coasters now use a teardrop shape for loop-de-loops -loops rather than the perfect circle to avoid this. This brings me to the news article I'm sharing. This is about the world's fastest accelerating roller coaster being shut down due to too many injuries. The roller coaster is called the Du Dong Pa and is described to go at super death speed. The coaster is located in Japan's popular Fuji Q Highland Park, and the ride was built in 2001. It goes from 0 to 112 miles per hour in 1.56 seconds. This makes it the fastest accelerating roller coaster in the world. The ride subjects people to over three Gs, which is suspected to be the cause of recent injuries reported by passengers of the ride. According to the article, in the last six months, six riders have sustained bone fractures, four of them being neck or back fractures. It is suspected these injuries may relate to not sitting correctly during the ride or improper fitting restraints, which are meant to be checked by employees for safety before each ride. Despite all of this, almost all of the roller coasters we see in the world are very safe, and statistics from the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions show that the likelihood of being seriously injured on a roller coaster in the United States is about 1 in 15.5 million. Thank you for listening. These are some links.